little ball of super energy in an extremely handsome hat. Hey, what's up guys and girls, this is Midori, and I'm back with another episode of Draw Midori. Hey, what's up guys and girls, I'm back. Now, today I'm working with Sonic. They just released the redesigned version of Sonic about two days ago, and now they finally released the new trailer. And let me tell you, the new trailer, so, so, so much better. I am really digging the new design. It's a little bit of old school and new school, so he kind of looks like Sonic from Dreamcast era. And also Sonic from uh, the Genesis era. So I'm really happy with the design, so I decided to do this drawing and do it in my version, in my style. Now, as you can see at the very beginning, I measured the head and also all the proportions are going to be based on the head and the halfway point of the head so you know sonic's body his body he's really short he's like chippy chippy size so his body is either going to be three heads or just two in this case his body is about two and a half heads but i kind of made it a little bit longer because i kind of wanted to mix in uh, a little bit of the Dreamcast Sonic when it comes to this drawing. So you're gonna see that here. So it's, he's not exactly uh, two heads. He's a little bit, a little bit more than that. Also, with this new redesign, um, he still have that realistic look that I like from the the old re um, the old movie version that they had. months ago where you see in each individual fur so I'm gonna try to mimic that in this drawing you're gonna see uh, later on when I go over it in ink as you can see I already gave him the slightly long legs but it's not too long like Dreamcast but at the same time is not as short as the Genesis version I don't know the old movie design he was really weird but in certain spots to me he looked it pretty cool um, I know a lot of people hated it but I don't know like certain angles or certain scenes he looked it cool like the very beginning where you see him you know charging up and getting ready to race and he's like stretching his legs like like a real track star runner you know that I really like you know um, in terms of how he looked there but yeah he did definitely look like a man in the suit so that's gonna throw off a lot of people you know you know a lot of people's not gonna like that because his original legs um, and the, the, the original movie version was skinny at the, the ankles and then they got thick towards the thighs so it looked really weird and and then also on top of that he had Nike running shoes which to me was cool but they could have still did that if they would have kept the same old proportions of the uh you know the original you know character design of sonic so but yeah i feel like he's still not 100 percent um how i would imagine him but at least he's about 75 percent to 80 percent there the team you know they did a really good job in you know going back to the drawing board and um you know re redesigning sonic and one a fun fact of, about um the redesign they actually hired one of the artists um who designed the character designs of sonic mania and also did the uh the animation for sonic mania so you can tell um you know it shows in the final product of the uh this new version of the you know movie sonic in my opinion um i believe that they should have just yeah they should have just went strictly pixar or disney i don't understand why they didn't go that route it would have been so much easier at the beginning but i guess they kind of i don't know like they want to i guess they kind of want it to feel more like a movie movie instead of a cartoon movie because they kind of did that uh back in the day in the 90s with the old uh sonic cartoon movie and also 
not to mention the current Sonic TV shows in 3D. So I guess they kind of want it to feel more big budget and something that's drastically different with what's currently going on on TV, television. So it makes sense. You know, I'm a little bit more hyped to go see it than I was before. I was going to see it before regardless because I'm a pretty diehard Sonic fan. And, um, you know, hopefully the movie will be decent. Hopefully review sites like IGN will get it. If it gets like a seven, I'll be happy with that. You know, I'm not expecting something amazing, but you know, as you can see with where I'm at now in the drone, I'm in the f midway point of the coloring stage and pretty much this coloring stage took a little bit longer um, because I was really paying attention to light and shadow and how when it comes to coloring, you know, Sonic if you look at the rendering of any of the promotion art, like if you're just doing basic coloring, he's not just the color blue or one particular value of blue or one particular color of blue, if that makes sense. You know, like I could have just rendered it one color, but if you really look, there's like cobalt blue, there's sky blue, you know, there's um, cloud blue. Is aqua blue in, in, in Sonic there's a lot of different shades so whenever you're doing coloring and you want it to look more rendered and sort of realistic then you got to add different values and shades of blue or any color that you're doing when it comes to your drawing as you can see guys here I'm adding the final touches um, this drawing is pretty much coming to an end thank you guys and girls for joining me and I will have a next drawing coming later this week or next week with the Mandalorian. Thank you guys once again, and I check you guys later. Midori out. Meow. Ah, oh, come on.